so this is a question number 60 a uh, sewage treatment plant receives sewage at a flow rate of 5000 meter cube per day the total suspended solid concentration in the sewage at the inlet of primary clarifier is 200 mg per liter after the primary treatment the total suspended solid concentration of sewage is reduced by 60% the sludge from the primary clarifier contains 2% solid concentration subsequently the sludge is subjected to gravity thickening process to achieve a solid concentration of 6% assume the density of the sludge before and after thinking thickening is 1000 kg per meter cube the daily volume of thickened sludge will be so basically they are telling this is the primary clarifier okay this is a primary clarifier so they are mentioning the flow rate the flow rate of water is 5000 meter cube per day okay the total suspended solid can the inlet is 200 also the total suspended solid is 2 tss is 200 mg per liter per day now this is pst primary settling tank primary clarifier after the primary the total suspended concentration is reduced by 60% the sludge from the primary clarifier contain 2% solid concentration so this is the sludge okay now it is subjected to gravity thickening now it is subjected to gravity thickening okay now it is subjected to gravity thickening and to achieve a solid concentration of 6% so in this the solid content is 6% okay so uh, first of all the initial total suspended solid content 20 mg per liter so an removal is in primary clarifier is by 60% so basically 0.6 into 200 if you do it is 120 mg per liter so 120 mg per liter is that because of 60% efficiency so total suspended removed so suspended after the primary treatment the total suspended solid concentration in the sewage is reduced by 60% so means 120 mg was reduced so the suspended solid concentration so here it will be 120 mg per liter suspended solid so it has been reduced by 60% the sludge from the primary cut to 2% solid subsequently the sludge is subjected to gravity thickening process to achieve a solid concentration to 6% now we should know the quantity of uh, sludge content in the thickener so sludge sludge content in the thickener is equals to total flow rate 5000 it is in, in terms of meter cube so in terms of liter it will be 1 meter cube 1000 liter okay into 120 mg this is now because initially it was this this was removed so now it is 120 mg per liter of solid which is going to the primary gravity thickening so 120 mg per liter to convert this milligram i have to divide it by into kg i have to divide it by 10 power 6 so you will get here as 600 kg per day which is equivalent to that is 6% of total biomass sludge that is 6% of total mass of sludge so if 6% of the total mass of sludge is 600 kg how come i am saying 6% because in the question they are saying telling subsequent the sludge is subject to achieve a solid concentration of 6% so the solid concentration content in thickener we calculated this much so that means it is a 6% of total mass sludge so for total mass sludge will be 600 divided by 6 into 100 so which comes out to be kg per day so that is total mass of sludge is 1000 kg per day now the question is asking the volume daily volume of the thickened sludge 
so we know density is equal to mass by volume volume if we have to calculate then it is equal to mass by density mass by density just now we calculated as 1000 1000 uh, density in the question is given as 1000 kg per meter cube 1000 it will it is 10,000 so it will be 10,000 so 6 divided by 100 so it will be 10,000 so 10,000 divided by 1000 will come out to be 10 meter cube per day I hope this is clear thank you